which is your KW user and password. One place, and because you've got a contact here, and you've added in their information in your contact management, you don't need to add it again then in the opportunity. You don't, shouldn't need to add it again then in the transactional paperwork. And you shouldn't have to keep putting your listing in this website and this website and this website and this website because as soon as it goes on the MLS, it's going to automatically populate into KWLS 2.0, which automatically populates out for all of your marketing pieces too. It, it accesses photos of the property from the MLS. It accesses data on the property from the MLS. So again, one main point should be everything. Does that answer your question, Stephen? Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, so is everybody on a, other than an app, let's see when I try again, because it's been a few oh. minutes. We did something to somebody. Okay, so for everybody else, are you in a cage? Hey, B, can I hold up your computer for a second? Should be in a cage that looks something like this. Yeah. Do you see up here where it says add? Yes. Click add, and then zip form should be your third option down. Please click zip forms. Anybody didn't see zip forms, now is your chance. Okay. Is it asking you to log into the forms? Yes. Please try. Was oh, this just the same as the start card? Yes. 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 Yes.
Is anybody else on a page that looks like this? See, you're not trying to refresh it. Because the number of us have now gotten in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah so click on Add up in the top right, and then the third option down says Zip Forms. Cool. Right, Maggie's in, I'm in, I think Mickey's in. Maggie! What's your show again? That's four. Four out of 30. Uh, <laughs> for kids. I don't know. I'm going to take e my email when I put it down. Okay. Yes! It looks exactly like zip forms, right? Except that it's not. It's zip forms. It's very dark inside and through the day. So when, when do you ever see the zip form? I never see the zip form. So do you see a button that's towards the top right that says add? A blue button that says add? In the integrations area? No, no, you should have already integrated. It, it didn't integrate. Should we open up to go in our room? Yeah, if you're in the room and then you authorize, I never saw the integration or the uh, adding the, the zip. Yeah, that's when you see, okay, so we'll be back there in a second. Yvonne, what's your question? So, can we go into the car like we usually No, you should never do that. And create After September 1st, please do not do that. They, I was told this morning that that is creating issues. Do not do that. Always just go to command, start everything in command. What if it isn't working? Will, okay, so, will, uh, so I'm going to show you that in a little bit. But that means that it's not going to link up to the room, which is the issue. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a oh, workaround, because there's other ways yeah. to do this too. But I want to show you anybody who can functioning through here. So if you are not functioning with the connection, please raise your hand and I will come by one by one and we'll figure out what's going on. Yeah. We didn't hurt the same place. Fantastic. So, so we need to go to opportunities because remember we always started an opportunity went down in the handshake. There you go. And you need to get into an active or under contract transaction. Great. And your buyer scroll down. And then click on submit slash buyer. Okay. You click on your documents tab because we're relaxing. We want to upload documents, right? We went there. Great. And then now we start a transaction. Fantastic. Well, what we have to do is go backwards again. And now click on go to transactions. So Esmeralda is in there already. And now, so Esmeralda, see that add button at the top right? Add. Third option down is zip forms. Here, Stephen. Yes, add zip forms. This is how you'll add zip forms documents. Okay. So anybody else in the back row having issues? Is that yes or no? Yes. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so you need to go to our opportunities. And Esmeralda, are you comfortable enough that you can walk the yellow through what I just did by clicking on opportunities? And you're going to add a document to that opportunity. Okay. All right. So we have to check with your client. You're going to have to So try to remember my hands as far as this. Oh, you have a different email. Those two? Ah! Okay. So it's definitely easy to try to wait a bunch of hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everything else you're doing is crap. So when I do the next stage, they're going to be able to do this. So that's what happens. Who is this row? 
sit down with us. We can come back to the video. I want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Okay. 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 Okay.
your lease agreement. Thank you so much. If anybody comes up with another document that you need to upload and you don't see a spot for it, let me know. Seller in possession? Yes, I do. Uh, and they're alphabetical. You can scroll down there, alphabetical. Proof of funds is in there at three different times because we have had a couple of transactions where buyer has had three different bank accounts with three different. So if you will look, the list is alphabetical. So there is no option you add your own name. Right. That is also going to be happening by October 1st. It's not out yet. So. Come in here, and yes, they are alphabetical. Now let's say that we add in a file, <laughs> and you are now ready for the office to start reviewing your paperwork. All that you have to do is click the button saying submit to MC, submit to the market center. That is how we will start reviewing your paperwork. And that coordinate the end no, no, no. That's as you're uploading paperwork. Yeah, whenever you're like, cool, I've uploaded like the five documents for today, submit to the MC. Because trust me, if there's a problem on one of the documents, do you want to wait till the file closes to hear that? No. no. Okay. Market Center, you are in a Marty building. The building you're in right now? Oh. It's a Marty Center. It's not a the end. Right, you don't want that. Because if there's, a, if there's an agency disclosure issue, we need to get a confirmation of agency right away or you're not guaranteed a paycheck. So, submit to Market Center as you're completing documents. So, if you say, like, yes, I have, or you could have submitted some documents and they're not complete yet, and you know they're not complete, don't submit that to the MCA because that just means Steve is going to review and he's going to let you know it's incomplete, and you're like, I already know it's not complete, right? Mm -hmm. So, submit to Market Center, that submit to MC button, that's when you want us to start reviewing any documents in your file. I just disagree with transaction coordinator. Yeah. I'm sorry, what was the question? Transaction coordinator, where, where do they come in? Yes, we've got a couple of different options for transaction coordinators. Very All, good question. Yes, very good question. All transaction coordinators will be able to have access to this starting October 1st. Between now and October 1st, you will be uploading your own documentation. And that's okay. Because as you guys saw, that was pretty easy, right? California Association of Realtors says it takes 17 hours of paperwork for an agent during a transaction. The uploading process is probably 15 minutes of that 17 hours. After October 1st, you will be able to bring in transaction coordinators, whether they're with Keller Williams or not with Keller Williams. The exception to that is Lindsay, because she is an employee of Mike Sevilla. We are working on getting her to be able to upload documents for in the interim of the month of September. Okay. Other than that, you're uploading your own documents for a month, mm -hmm. and then we'll have a way to bring in transaction coordinators that are outside of the company. Thank you. Yes, thank you for asking. Okay. So, uh, you guys, let me show you, if you don't mind, I will show you what the process kind of looks like after you've submitted a document. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And, let's see here. So we're going to go to, so the office, the office would have come in, we would have reviewed your paperwork, and then either returned it to you saying rejected with a reason, or we would have accepted it. And I'm going to show you what that looks like then on panel. And how long will it be before someone looks at the paperwork? Stephen is supposed to be logging in every day, Monday through Friday. I can't guarantee that he will send everything because he has a couple of hours. And if one, if one day a ton of stuff is uploaded, he might get through part of it that day, and then the next day not that much is uploaded, he'll be able to look at all the rest of it. Oh, like within 48 hours. Business hours. Okay. Yeah. So don't upload something on a Friday night at 8 p.m. and think that it's going to get reviewed in the next day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you ever think that there's a, a drop down in that process, please let me know. I, I need to know if, if you feel stuff isn't being reviewed quickly enough. Because again, this is a learning for all of us. Okay. So this is uh, Josh Team, Mega Camp Listing. And here we go. You can add, quickly log in and see, oh my gosh, this file was rejected. And hover over this and it goes, oh, because it was missing an initial. So that's what, that's what you'll see when you log in. Um, right, rejected because it's missing an initial. There we go. And green is approved. 
So on these rejected ones, you're going to come in and you're like, okay, great, let me upload a new agreement. You're going to come in. You're going to say replace this. You're going to replace it with the correct form. Just click replace. And now it shows up as purple. So green is good. Red is bad. Purple is, we haven't reviewed it yet, but you've replaced it. Does that make sense? Yes. So is there a reason why it was rejected? Yeah, it shows, so it's the little box next to it, this one says, oh, that's a long name, missing initials. And same thing, yeah, same thing on that one. And then, great, replace, you just replaced it, and so we know that we log in, oh good, they've updated the form. You can always also come in here and look at version history, just like you can in Dotloop, and it shows you what happened with that transaction each step along the way. Here we go. So here's the summary of this is what happened, and then this, and then this, and we included, and that's all of that. I don't know. I need to ask you right now. It was saved on the computer. Oh, that's my process. No idea it was saved on the computer. No, no, I just randomly chose the PDF. Gotcha. I mean, it's okay. So we wanted to bring up a big point. When you're ever using office computers, so that's this one, the four conference rooms, or the ones in the training room. Log out. I can't tell you how many times I've logged in and I'm like, oh, somebody left me their Facebook bed. Or I look at the possibly confidential information for clients that saved on these computers, right? So delete your documents and always log out. Okay. Um, I will offer class. Okay. So questions for me on how to upload documents and how to submit documents for review. Any questions for me on anything we've done today? And if you weren't working with, if you were having issues with DocuSign, maybe try one more time before you call zip forms and have them help you out. Laura. I just, I wanted to do this because I'm so close. I'm in there and I want to um, create that, what I call it, for me, is you um, Yeah, you might want to call it the client's name. So when you log in again, what would be a good indicator for you of like, oh yeah, that one. Right. So it could be the property address. No, it should be the same one. So did you possibly call and try to purchase earlier? is completed and you want to be able to provide documents to your client, how do you download it? Yeah, so ideally you've been using command to get into DocuSign and your clients have access to that, so they always have access to that. That's the best case scenario. But I use the example of my grandmother who is 94 or 95 now, she doesn't have a computer. Her having access to a DocuSign account doesn't do her any good, so her agent would still need to get her physical paper copies, right? Yeah. Um, so you should be able to come in here and you'll be able to print out these documents. Not today. But an option will come in here eventually on one of these. Oh, it is now. That's great. So click print. There it is. Okay. And it is currently one by one by one it looks like. Uh, yes. Um, they're supposed to be putting in a uh, like download all and print all buttons. Yeah, okay. Thank you. But they, they, they didn't have that as of a week ago, so that's exciting to do. Mm -hmm. It's a nice thing that what we need is being worked on. I keep getting the enter NRDS information for DocuSign. So yeah, I don't want you to log into DocuSign. Remember, you're using zip forms. Okay. So yeah, when, so Beatrice is saying when she logs into a room and she goes up to add that document button, do not choose DocuSign. The state of California is not franchising its documents to Keller Williams directly, which is why we have to do this patch of going from DocuSign into zip form, or from like command into DocuSign into zip form, back into DocuSign, back into command. So you want to choose zip forms. Okay. Yes. I want to get into DocuSign. You don't, because the California is not put in the DocuSign form. Into. So is it form form? Yeah. So we don't use DocuSign at all. Uh, okay, so the California Association of Realtors has a direct relationship with ZipForms. They have said that ZipForms is the only company that can 
states that access to their forms for electronic filling out purposes. All the other states in the country allow us to directly have the forms in there. California cannot. Mm -hmm. So because of that, DocuSign actually has an agreement with ZipForm to at least be able to view documents for electronic signature. So that's how we're able to go from DocuSign into ZipForms. So you, we in California, do not click that Add DocuSign button. We click Add ZipForms. That is the only way that we're able to get these documents in there. If you try to click Add DocuSign, it's going to ask for your NERDS number, and then it's going to ask for your Board of Realtors, and we're not on the list. That'll be your clue of like, oh right, I'm not supposed to be here. Go back to Add ZipForms. Any other questions for me? Okay, again, the best thing you can do is practice. If you haven't already, get your practice buddy. Do this today. Do this every day. It is way easier the more you do it. So by adding, let's say, adding a listing for September 1st, we'll DocuSign. Dot loop. I mean dot loop. Yes. So if you open up the loop in dot loop prior to September 1st, you will continue that file through dot loop until it closes. Doesn't matter what day it closes. If you didn't open up the dot loop before September 1st, I don't care what dates are on the contract, you need to use the command. Okay? Does that make sense? So basically that is starting this weekend. Starting what this weekend? This weekend, it's September 1st. Oh. This weekend is September. Oh, coming weekend. Yeah, this is. Yeah, that weekend, like in six days? When you said this. this yeah, like in six days, this weekend. Yeah. So, so if you have a file and you really, 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 really want to use dot loop, make the loop today. Right? Go all higher, Taylor. Like, if you really, really, really want that, do that. If not, no, you're just going to use the command. Sorry, it's September 1st. Um, I went in and I changed And again, they are doing this over and over and over again on KW Connect. I'm teaching the class live just all the month in this office. It's every week on Connect Live. Is there any other questions? Yeah, yes. So, so <laughs> do you know how that will have some nice pages where you can split documents? Yep. Does this have nice pages? Docs, you supposed to, yeah. Oh, okay. Because, right, only one document per placeholder. If you upload a 140 page document to disclosure, we're rejecting it. I promise you. One document per placeholder. Oh. What about when you make one package? No. <laughs> which is why you want to do what we walked through today, which was go into DocuSign, right? You click the go into command to DocuSign to zip form, because it puts them all as each individual pages. I hear you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> You're also feeling Stephen Kagayama because that's I like him when they're all bundled together in one. Yeah. So you need to one disclosure package. Yes, we don't like that at all. Oh, I thought everybody liked that. That is a really, really difficult way to have to review paperwork. Oh, yeah. All right, hang on. Does anybody else have a question? Hands up. Leave on. Yes. So on the RPA, when we do generate RPA, we also have the wire fraud. We also have the agency, and we also yes. So when you do what we just talked about. No, it will automatically do that for you when you do what we have just talked about. It's supposed to split those for you. Yeah. It is supposed to. We're going to find out on Monday if it really does. Unless you want to do some practicing this week, which is what I suggest, right? Like if there's glitches, let's find out now. So my question is when you upload it after we get the You don't even have to miss. Okay, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we upload it. Because we're not really uploading stuff, we're just connecting. It's a one mark one. Because you never even downloaded the document. Oh, you didn't? Okay, good. Okay, so when you were in here, yeah. and you went to add documents, okay, if so you go through the DocuSign to zip forms account, you never had to download anything. No, no, no. Okay, okay, so we get the contract. Great. And so we need the RPA. Yes. It includes the agency. The yes. Wire fraud. Yes. So when we upload it, you don't even have to upload it because there's no uploading because there's no downloading. You're simply connecting commands to zip forms. And those forms are supposed to be separated for us. Today is going to be a really good day for us to practice and test this out. So you will never have to download those documents from your system. You should never have to do that. And because you never have to download them, you never have to upload them.
Now, you could do that if you wanted to give yourself some extra steps. I wouldn't suggest it, because why? It's just wasted time. So the best thing you can do today is practice, right? And then as you're practicing, we'll take a look and we'll see, oh, it didn't separate them out like it should. We need to talk to somebody. Or, fantastic, it did exactly what I thought it was. Yes, Stella. What about other documents? So that, for example, you're not developing on the Yeah, just like those property inspections and stuff given to you by the other agent. That's when you click on add a file, and you, then you upload it from your computer. Okay. Right, you upload that property inspection. You upload the document given to you by an agent. You upload it, but you would just scan because it was hand signed by somebody. Right? Yeah, there's going to be plenty of uploads. Yeah, you're sure. Documents but, but Yvonne is saying something, she talked about a specific case, but what you want was. So yeah, because you're saying when you, right now, today, you log into Zipforms and you say I'm doing an RPA, but it also gives you the AD and the cost representation of the buyer, seller, and the buyer fraud advisory. Yes, but what yes. I'm saying is after we, okay, we sent, we sent, I'm the buyer, I sent Alex, the listing agent, my offer, we get accepted, and now we have a contract. So the contract was sent to you by the other agent. Yes. So the other agent sent you a PDF that has multiple pages in it. Yes. And yes. they didn't do it through the online because their client had to do so much. They, do they do that most of the time, I think. That's okay. So you can split out PDFs. There are three tools that you can use to split out PDFs. Yeah. This currently does not do that. It will in the future. Okay. okay. And this, uh, I have a question on that. Yeah, I'm going to do it right now for you. That's not very clear. You go to Google and you go... If we do the R, one of our dot loops, the count, let so if you want to keep a dot loop account, it is roughly going to cost you about $10,000 no, for no, a no, I don't want to do that. Right. You said we could, as long as we create one, we have access to it. You will have access to that loop. Well, why can't we do that? But stuff in that loop. Yes, can we do that? You can. As long as, as, long as you open up that loop before August 31st. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Right. Are you, you can do anything you want you before, right before, right before, 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 And if you don't, if you forget that, all I did was Google PDF Splitter, and that's what I get. And that's your favorite one? I, I, I know, I have a professional version of After that, so I use that. But this is a free version. There's also a small PDF. There's also free splitterpdf.com. There are tons and tons of options for you. So they all work. Okay. You use whatever works for you, whatever you want. Our office computers should all have uh, professional versions of Acrobat, so you can always split stuff on our computers too in the office. Mm -hmm. Professional. There'll be lines in the conference room. Acrobat? Yeah. What was that, you Professional Acrobat, you said. If you want to purchase an Acrobat account, you can, and that allows you to split PDFs. If you want the free version, you can see there are tons and tons and tons of free versions. They all do what they need to do, they're great. Okay, any other questions for me? Does everybody get yeah, yeah, so it's not now, but yeah, it's I have a I hope I know. Okay. Solid. Okay. Because it's now September 1st, yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah no, I'm, okay. So let's say it's Tuesday, you get a listing on Tuesday. No, I'm just saying that for myself. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't wear the game again. This is nice. Yeah. I got set up. Mm -hmm. You know, the first thing that I normally do is go to the coverage. So what am I oh, suggesting that everybody do this week? Yeah. Is get a buddy and practice. The create a fake, uh, mm -hmm. create a fake um, contract and practice with you. Yeah. That's, that's all. That's all you need to do. And again, if you are having problems linking up zip forms yes. with yes. commands, mm -hmm. call zip forms. Say, hey, I am trying to link zip forms. I'm with Keller Williams. I'm trying to link it up, and my username and password isn't working. Can you help me out? Zip forms will be able to help you with that. I, that's not something that I can fix for you. Yeah. Okay. And yes, Stella. So ultimately, we'll still have to use these free apps. Ultimately, we'll still have to use these free apps for splitting and merging, or will that? No, no, no. no. Yeah. 
ultimately everything is going to be absolutely perfect because this, uh, here we go. this is what we are asking Keller Williams to make. When we ask Keller Williams to be able to split PDFs, they'll put that in there. And what you can do is go to ideas.kw.com and vote on the ideas that other agents have made. So, for example, there was an idea for us to be able to have multiple kinds of uh, templates. That got enough votes. They are working on it now, and I was told this morning that that should be in place by September 15th. Fantastic. Um, there also was the uh, request on there to be able to add documents without a placeholder. That got enough votes. They're working on it. It should be there by September 15th. So Kelly Williams works and creates on what we ask them to do. But if we don't ask them to do things and we don't vote on other people's ideas, they work on whatever they want to work on. And I'll be honest with you, it's usually stuff that works in Texas. Right? So what we need to do is practice and vote. Did you repeat that address? Ideas? Ideas.kw.com. Thank you. Well, it works in Texas doesn't necessarily work here. When they're always flabbergasted, they're like, you have how many documents in a transaction? <laughs> they, don't, they don't use transaction coordinators. Well, because why would you need to? There's like seven documents. Oh, you don't need a transaction coordinator for that. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 cocktail napkin with the contract on it sometimes. Yeah. So they never even occurred to them that they would need to have TC access, right? So again, the more that you can practice this week to get really comfortable with this, that is the best thing you can do. And the second is to go on ideas.kw.com and vote on the ideas that will make this better for your business, which includes the ability to split and merge documents, for yes. sure. For sure. Can you guys have that you just talked? Yes. Is on command, on connect to using... So the class that I have just taught, the one that's being recorded, was not on connect right now, because it's still being recorded. I will teach this class once a month. You can always watch this again if you need to, although this might not be the best class to watch because it was a little wonky there at the beginning, right? So I will be teaching this one again, I think on September like 11th or 12th. So in just a couple of weeks, we're doing it again. And you can always access the Connect Live schedule, and they are teaching. Here we go. Prep to get paid. They teach this almost every single week. The next one is on Thursday, just a few days away. And there's an old one. Uh, two, one right? There's the one that you can watch in previous. I don't know if they've taught this class yet. Oh. Right, this is, like I said, this is all brand new to everybody. Because we are all learning this together. Any other questions? So that one be live. Is there any way that we can watch this together? So this is still being recorded. So no, you can't watch it yet. Melissa is putting these online within 24 to 48 hours. And where will I on KOE Connect. Can you please go to the record? No, 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 okay. All right. So, back up for resources. Connect Live, these are classes that are taught at the Keller Williams Realty International's training room. Right? So these are not classes that I have taught. These are not classes that are necessarily California specific. These are generic for the whole country, plus Canada. If you want to be able to watch our recordings of classes that happen in this market center, and we are doing our best to get all of these live classes put on KW Connect, they're not in live. Because again, this is KW Right. Okay. They'll be under our market center's upload. Yes. We also have them on our YouTube channel. So you've got a couple different options, but keeping everything connected is easier. Right. If you're still having problems, you need to call Zipform. They'll be able to help you out with that. Yes, Maria. Too long ago. Um, all right. 
Let's look for the back of opportunities. Let's go to the contract. Here we go, this one. All right, so the Maria's question is one more time, how do I upload documents, yes? Maria's Not upload, I'm sorry. To say you want to connect it, yes? Yeah, I connect okay. it to get uh, like DocuSign. So you go to transaction. Because okay. this transaction, this is the DocuSign transaction room. And here's forms that I uploaded from my computer, as well as ones that I linked through DocuSign, like the residential standard agreement. I did them if I wanted to add zip form. It's linked up with my zip form account. And here, I'll do a card forms. And this is the entire California Association of Realtors Library of Forms. And they are also alphabetical. So I come in here, I can say, oh, there's the contingency removal that I needed. I can add it. And there we go. It is now added to my room. Does that make sense? Now I know some people had problems getting here because it couldn't link up the zip forms. And if that is the case, you need to call zip forms. Mm -hmm. Have them help you out with that. I, I can't do that for you. That's a zip issue. Yeah, just say hi, I'm with Keller Williams. I'm trying to connect zip forms to command, and it's saying that my username and password is incorrect. Please help me. Are they going to understand when you say KW command? Probably, and if they don't, just say I'm trying to link up my account to something, and it says that my username and password doesn't work. Please help me. Okay, so once it's there, so I've got these things in my room, right? I can come back to here, and I'm going to add a file. And I now have the option to say from DocuSign as opposed to a manual upload. Oh great, which of the documents from my room do I want to upload or do I want to assign? And it should be almost instantaneous. But that's how you connect forms from DocuSign to this transaction. Does that make sense? Okay. Any other questions? We have a couple minutes. Is there, is there like a, a workflow that will we have like a, for somebody like th that didn't attend today where they could just go, okay, new, 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 new uh, opportunity, create a contact, go to, you know, put a, make a map. Can make something like that? Yeah. Let me know where you think that should start. Well, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of like a dummy form, right? Oh, like, I get that. Yeah, yeah. For the person that just started and never want, never attended right. this. Right, I get what you're saying. Yeah, like a new hire. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So, so I'm, I'll be making that document. Where do you think that that should start? What's like the first step? Like, like in the beginning, like, go to agent.com. Like, yeah, like just from yeah. the beginning. Yeah, yeah just, so, just so it's like uh, creating an yeah. opportunity. Not what you're saying. Add the, add the contact. Yep. I mean, it takes a long time to build what you're doing. But you, I would do, if I were you, just do the screenshots. Yeah, no, I'll do the one for this document, so that's cool. I just want to make sure that I do I would do, do the screenshot of what they should do, okay. and then yep. little arrows, yep. I'm here. arrows to this Any screenshot. other questions before we have to get out of here? Yes, Christina. Okay, so just simply by creating an opportunity, I want to, I want to put in a listing, a new listing, right? There's simply no place to put the actual address. Okay, so you are saying I'm going to go to my opportunity. Okay, let's see it. And I want to create an opportunity. Uh -huh. Okay, great. And I'm going to go to the gateway. It's a listing. The client is. So the client would be the agent, right? No, the client is the buyer or the seller. The buyer or the seller. Okay. The client is the actual client that you're working with because you are the owner. You're the agent. Of ah. Owner is who the owner of the opportunity is, not the owner of the property. If that was so, I would put. Client. You don't have an option. Your name shows here no matter what. Okay. So your client goes name goes here, and then the opportunity name. Right now I'm calling this FUD listing, but I can call this. Um, the address most likely. Address of 180 Great Oaks. Estimated close date. I don't know yet because it's still in the listing. I'm going to put an estimated purchase or listing price, $850,000. And I've currently set an appointment, and my appointment is scheduled to create opportunity. Oh, so in an opportunity for a listing, there is no address. Like, it doesn't pull from the inter from the uh, from an address lookup anyway. Like a document. No, I don't think it does. Um, okay, so I want to make sure I'm going to say your question correctly. You're saying on this page, there is nowhere where the listing address is? Correct. 